Ooh, welcome back, everybody. Glad you're here. So this is it, the penultimate episode of Fallout, the first season series on Prime. This is episode seven. This is called The Radio. Um, tagline for it, every generation has their own dumbass ideas. And I about cover it. That pretty much says it all. <laughs> anyway, uh, looking for this to be good. It's a setup for, for episode eight, which is the final episode of the season. And there's a lot to wrap up, man. So uh, let's just jump on into this. Hey, do me a favor. If you're enjoying this, give me a thumbs up. Hit share. Share this with all your friends, neighbors, loved ones, complete strangers. And uh, definitely drop me, me comment, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think, good or bad. I want to hear it all. And uh, hey, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we're always finding stuff to react to, music you've never heard of, shows you haven't watched. Maybe shows you have watched, and uh, we're always trying to find something to react to, so hang around. In the meantime, let's get this party started. This is episode seven, the radio. Now. Wasteland, still a wasteland. Metal detecting for caps? Or bullets? Couldn't tell what that was. Guess you gotta make a living somehow in the wasteland. Uh oh. Sandra? Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Ron. Sandra, wait outside. I'm just looking for information. I'll tell you anything, as long as you leave us in peace. There's always some new little faction out there. Brand new team of believers with their own dumbass ideas about how they gonna save the world. I didn't say. That must make you Tommy. What did you do? Oh, Rufus got Tommy and mixed up with that mad woman, too. Rufus sent Tommy a stash of caps for the safe transport of an enclave defector to that very same mad woman in the hills, Ooh. Moldava. By the time I got this letter off your brother, it was a little bit hard to read. Now you give me that location, and I'll be on my way. I didn't want to spend my life digging through dirt. I want to build something, and we have the chance. Tell him what he wants to know, or else he's going to kill us all. Yeah, these are the consequences, buddy. Hmm. She's at the observatory. <sighs> now, please leave us. He's lying. So what you think, Tommy? Am I really walking out of here today, or are you gonna try and draw on me for what I did to your big brother? He won't. Maybe not today, but... Tommy! Mm -hmm. Some kids are just stupid. And you can't fix stupid. What is it about California? When you think of the promise of the American dream, you think of California. We were told the atom bomb meant the end of war. We were told America's always getting better, but the future is getting closer, and we can see it. And it's coming up fast, isn't it? That's about all the worst shit I can take. Cool, cool, come on. Mr. Howard, I didn't realize that America's favorite gunslinger was so sensitive. I have my principles, Miss Williams. Principles of yours? How much did Vault Tech pay to take them off your hands? Ooh. Well, this is America. I'm not ashamed to earn a living. There's a lot of money in selling the end of the world. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of money in selling a political ideology that ends in bread lines. You see, it happens that I know your wife, 
And perhaps a side of her you don't. Uh-oh. <laughs> How do you know my wife? My research company was acquired by her division. Cold fusion, infinite energy. That's what I was on the verge of achieving when vault Tech swept in. So what are you, a millionaire communist? America has been locked in a resource war for over a decade. vault Tech bought the means to end that war so they could put it on the shelf. I want your help in getting it back. It's a listening device. A listening device? What did you... You want me to spy on my wife? I'm not a communist, Mr. Howard. And now you're heading down the slippery slope. We let you into our home, tended to your wounds, gave you food and water. But you had to go to level 12. You're experimenting on them. It's, it's sick. She needs to see the holotape. <sighs> All right. <laughs> what is this? Your history. Overseer Hawthorne. Oh, it would be irrational of me not to acknowledge that these may be my last words. What happened here should not be used as a case study for what happens when scientists are given unregulated control. And, and hybridizing humans with radioactive resistance species still has potential. Spectre! No! No! Ooh, a gulper? Those things were human. Ooh. But it's a stirring reminder of what this place is all about. In the lab, I, I, I saw your doctors trying to ease the pain of the poor souls. His ancestors were used as lab rats by the original residents of Vault 4. The creature in the video was actually my great uncle Peter on my mom's side. My vault's not like this. What was the experiment in 33? Well, there is no experiment. Uh-oh. You have infected our home with violence, and now you must pay the price. <laughs> Please, let me go! Let me go! Time to wake up, buddy. I, thought we were, I was wondering when we were going to get to this guy. Come on, Thaddeus. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, hey. That's not it's good. Foot. It's not food, okay? Stupid thing. Oh, you want this too, huh? Everybody wants this. Guess what? It's mine. You can't eat this. Fusion core. Nuka Cola. This is a very important mission, and I can't have you jeopardize Dude, it. Dude, no. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than all of us. Don't put the dog in there. Okay, Thaddeus has to die. All right, got a radio tower to find. I'll contact the Brotherhood. Get on his head. And get me some glory. We are all survivors here. Lucky enough to have found this sanctum of peace, of tolerance. It doesn't matter where you come from or what you believe. You deserve safety. <laughs> Unless you threaten that peace. You are hereby sentenced to death <laughs> by banishment to the surface. <laughs> Need to get that sharpened, please. You're just letting me go. Well, that's. Certainly an optimistic perspective. That's why we're giving you two weeks of supplies to take with you. Thank you, Kathy. Sure. After that, you are on your own, Goosey. Goosey? 
Well, that's, uh, that's really nice of you guys. Okay, and now it is time to be moving along. Can I just ask you one thing? Obviously, someone will carry the supplies to the surface for you. My friend really likes it here. And he's a good person. He deserves to be somewhere nice and safe. But... <laughs> Can he stay? There goes the core. Oh, he's coming to get some too. <laughs> Not the Nuka Cola. They're letting me go. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> well, without their fusion core, their auxiliary power will only last a few days. And, and then what? No. Yes. No. Giving it back is the right thing to do. But you're not going to give back the core? Uh -oh. I was supposed to marry a stranger from another vault. It didn't turn out so good. I don't have the best luck when it comes to strangers. Titus, you are the best stranger that I've ever met. And... If you wanted to, when all of this is over, you could come and live with us in Vault 33. With me. Aw, that's sweet. There's something I should tell you. Just say yes. My name isn't Titus, it's there Maximus. It Titus there is go. the name of the knight who owned this suit before me. He was threatening me, so instead of helping him, I watched him die. And I took his armor. And I lied to you. Do you want to come live with me in my vault? Yeah. Is there popcorn? Yeah, of course. If there's popcorn. Let's go find that head. Hey, yo, this is DJ Carl at KPSS. Like most weeks here at KPSS, this week is Fiddle Week, when all of my airtime will be spent luxuriating in my small but mighty collection of fiddle tunes. If you don't like what you hear, just a reminder that I don't take visitors at the station. A simple postcard will suffice. That said, <laughs> enjoy the fiddle. Excuse me! Don't kill me. I'm a doctor. I can help you. Welcome to my humble pharmacy. <laughs> Have a seat, my dear boy, and let's take a look at that tattered tootsie of yours. <laughs> oh. I've seen this condition before, but you're in luck, because I've got the cure. <laughs> before we start, there's a small matter of my fee. Oh, my. Is, is that a... Fusion core? But if you do want to survive, not a bad trade. Okay, here. Okay, let's get started. This elixir I have concocted heals all. And I mean everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. Oh, shit. Ah, thank you. Sure thing, buddy boy. Oh. You know I can find a radio tower? It's near a town that used to be called Shady Sands. Shady Sands? This is radioactive as hell. 
Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore, do you, buddy boy? Toodles and... Oh. Did he just turn him into a ghoul? Oh, wow. That's messed up. Norm! What happened? We don't know. The medic says it looks like rat poison. We'll find out who is behind it. What did I tell you, Norman? Words have meaning. Mm. She's setting him up, isn't she? Up. Oh, hi, Nora. Oh, it, it's just terrible about the Raiders, isn't it? Don't be too long. I'm holding the baby, so you have to pack everything. Oh, she thought she was killing the Raiders. You, she Norm. killed her own people. You're going to? Yeah. Steph and I were given a starter home unit. So you're just going to forget about everything we've seen. I feel like this is a good moment for a fresh start. You're a coward. You know that shit? We all are, Norm. That's why we live in a vault. Ooh. Profound. Save that doggy. Gotta go taste it. Hey, boy. Let's go find your daddy. This is not going to end well. Got your hot cocoa, sweetie. You guys, you can have the marshmallows up at the top of the line. He'll be out in a minute. Let me see. Let me jump. You're right, Roosevelt. What are you thinking? Lloyd and Cassandra here are both scientists, specializing in the effects of radiation on human DNA. That's right. Studying the effects on radiation on human DNA. To create the gulpers and all the other things. I'm sorry, dog meat, but you ain't him. Me. <laughs> I'd love to see the behind the scenes on this to see how they filmed this, where they filmed it. So you're saying earlier that some people they don't uh, like the sound of this music, really? Oh, people get fully mad. Oh, the thing no one appreciates is these are the original recordings. Oh, Fred. <laughs> oh, that, but yeah. Oh. Great job on these booby traps, by the way. Really good. Hey, thanks. <laughs> no requests. Hey, is this your ride? Huh? Oh. oh. Guess not. Okay. Mm. 
God, I suck without a scope. <laughs> hey, um. That had to suck. <laughs> uh, oh. Why am I not dead? That dude turned him into a ghoul. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah. He's that a... is. I, I think you might be a ghoul. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so stupid. I should have never trusted a doctor that smelled like that. <laughs> Dad, just give me the head. Huh? I'll slow them down. You'll have time to run. Did you do that for me? Give it to me. What are you doing? <clears throat> if they want a head, I'm gonna give them a head. Find your dad. Go home. That's what I want for no, you. You're supposed to come with me. They're never gonna stop looking for the artifact. They will kill you, hun. Get moving. Ooh. <laughs> This show is so twisted. I'll wait for you, okay? In Vault 33, find me. I will. And now we say goodbye to all those who are leaving us for Vault 32. Every vault needs an overseer, which is why I have conferred with the High Council. And we are proud to announce as interim overseer of Vault 32, Stephanie Harper. Got a hacker computer. Oh, wow. Uh oh. This is nuts. My kid's got some guts, man. Just no weapon, no nothing. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? What is it? What is it? Ah, uh, really? Come on, man. Ah, uh, okay. So 
That was a great ending. <laughs> I don't know. I almost feel like a little bit like, man, they really walked the line between like the serious and the goofy in here. And, uh, but somehow it all fits together. I think that uh, getting out of Vault 4 was a little bit of a cakewalk. Um, but handled humorously, so pretty well done. But man, this this thing going on between 33 and 32 and 31 is just nuts, man. I love the whole mystery behind it. And now I, man, okay, yeah. Next episode. Final episode coming up, so stick around for that one, man. In the meantime, what'd you think? Did you like it? If you did, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it. Comment below. That's definitely a must. Please comment below. Let me know what you thought. Thoughts, tips, tricks, ideas, whatever you got. I'd love to hear it. Um, I'm really enjoying the show, man. I think that uh, they're just doing a fantastic job with with this series. And uh, finally, glad to see the dog back. Glad to see dog meat back. Um, glad to see Walton Goggins is just killing it, man. I hope he gets some kind of a nomination or something for this role because I just think he's doing a fantastic job. Just it, bouncing between Coop and Ghoul and just like the little things between them is just really fun to watch. Really good actor. And uh, just really enjoying that. So Maximus is going back to the Brotherhood. That's going to be nuts. Uh, Ghoul is going to catch up, I'm pretty sure, with Lucy. Goosey. <laughs> that's going to be crazy. And uh, Thaddeus is a ghoul now. So that's awesome. And Norm. Just, I can't wait to see what happens, man. I'm just hoping this this final episode is just everything that they're building it up to be, because I really just hope it's pretty cool. So, in the meantime, y'all come back when we do it again. Stay safe. Stay cool. I love you. God loves you. Peace. <laughs>